Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're on the web at smartwatchticks.com and we have an unboxing of a really nice fitness band with an extra large screen display in color, the Q18 from Run Doing. But before I begin, I want to test you guys out. I know a lot of you are international. So who is on the front of the U.S. currency $1 bill? Hmm, hmm, hmm. You're right. Looks like George. No, it's not Donald. It's George. George Washington. How about the five? Who's on the five? Huh? Yes, Abraham Lincoln. Way bigger picture. Look at that. Hmm, I wonder why. And who is on, what's the next currency? The 10? Who's on the 10? Huh? Hamilton. That's why they always call it the Hamilton, because it's the $10 bill. Okay, what have we got so far? What's that plus that plus that? No. Come on, add them up. That plus that plus... No. That plus that plus that equals... Whoa, come back here. Not yet. Not yet. That plus that plus that equals that. Right now, the Q18... <laughs> Wait till you see this thing. You can pick it up, and I'm pretty sure free shipping in most of the countries that uh, it's shipped out to for 16 bucks. And that's really, it's only four days sale, which is why I'm promoting this right now. When the sale is over, it goes back to regular price, which is, who's on the next one? Who's on the 20? Jackson. You can pick it up for a Jackson. That's right. Where else can you get a nice fitness band to test out if you even like these kind of things for 20 bucks or less? There, said my piece. And you guys learned a little bit about American currency. The Q18, here it is, from AliExpress, currently on sale. This is the write-up on it. In the show notes, you'll find the link directly over here. And as far as I know, I don't think you need to do a coupon. I think right now, while the sale is on, you're good to go for that price. After the sale is over, in case you're watching this a little later, and we can get a coupon for you, we'll get a discount off of the standard $20 price. But even at $20, bucks, man, that's a deal. <laughs> it really is. Way more than this. I got a bunch of other watches from Run Doing to show you, but I'm not going to have time to review them before the sale is over. Because you know, I put them up like about every other day, every three days or so. So let me show you what's coming in case you want to go over there and check it out now and pick it up at a decent sale price. In addition to this one, we have the infamous H2. You saw me review this one in gold. I'm going to show you one in silver and a new charging dock that comes with it. And for $32.19 on sale down from $46, you can pick it up right now for that lady in your life. Unless you are that lady in your life, in which case, celebrate! <laughs> Not only that, we have another one called the Q8 Advanced. Oh my gosh, there have been so many different Q8 versions. A Q8 Pro that came in Q9. Now we got a Q8 Advanced. We'll talk about what's in this one. Nice metal gold band, beautiful watch. $23.62 right now discount on sale over at AliExpress. It's a big anniversary thing going on. You'll see this again in an upcoming review, but read about it. You may want to buy a couple of these. And finally, also to be reviewed is this one, the NY03. Um, for $23 and change, down from $26, yet another sports fitness band with a large display and a nice metal band. We'll be taking a look at that too down the line. But today, I know, I know, move on, Mr. Tix. We're going to look at the Q18. Comes in a box, and it's, look at that, I love it. You can charge it just by popping the bands off. You got the... Um, Ability to, to uh, carry it in your pocket if you want to, or wear it on your arm. Uh, it's uh, information here a little bit on it, and there's the QR code for H-Band, which is really an awesome tethering app as far as apps go. Uh, we will be showing you that here in a minute. It's at H-Band 2.0 right now. And you can do a lot of fun tethering things with it. And you can also initiate things from that app directly on the watch. So let's open this up. Plastic packaging with a, a, an unfoldable user's manual and the device itself. What more do you need for $16, right? Here it is. 
It's got a TPU style of band, and I may as well get it over with right now before I put it on. You can take the band off down on the side with the circle, just pull it, and you'll see the two charging ports right here. Plug it in your USB in your computer or wherever you charge your phone. Uh, you could do that. You can pop the other one off too. Like I said, carry it in your pocket if you want to. There's no charging on that one, but it is removable totally. To press and hold the center button, it's the only button on the watch is how we turn it on. It vibrates and it comes up into one of several different watch faces that you could look at. Already charged up, ready to go, but let's take a look at the user manual. Oh my god. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to scan the whole thing this time. This is... Is that all English? <laughs> this is just crazy. Wow. Wow. All right. Uh, there's a nice user's manual in the box. Just know that you use H-Band, and I think you're going to see everything you need right now. we got to move these things on a little faster. There's the watch face. Uh, AM, PM available. Um, there's the, the Bluetooth syncing to the app, which it already is, your battery, date, time, and everything. You can set the time out as long as 30 seconds, which is what I've done. I love it. I love it because it can stay on longer than those quick on-off things. Now, here's the step count from today so far with animated graphics. And you notice it's a really large display, easy to read. You've got your distance travel correlated to those steps in kilometers, not changeable that I can tell to miles and calories burn. Then you get into this little fitness area. It's not, you know, every exercise under the sun, but it is your step count, calories burned, and heart rate on the screen against time. So if you want to time an event, a, a run, a walk, a cycling, whatever you'd like, you can do that with this watch and pause it or stop it completely by holding and it'll hold that into memory until you tether it to the H-Band app. So that's the fourth thing through here. Then you get into last night's sleep time. Yep, I slept with it last night so I could show you the data on the H-Band uh, app, what it looks like. Here it'll just tell you how much uh, time you slept overall. You've got the blood uh, heart, heart rate right here. When you put it on and it lights up the diode and gets everything running, uh, it'll show you your heart rate. And after that, you can calculate your uh, blood pressure. What's really cool about these two uh, measurements is that uh, they, do, they happen automatically. You can set it up in the app to get not only heart rate, but blood pressure tested regularly. Now, how accurate is the blood pressure or the heart rate for that matter? Well, I don't know. It hasn't really been tested on baseline. Uh, it's something you're going to have to check out with yourself and your doctor and see what... Um, correlation there is between the cuff type measurement. Here's a stopwatch in hundreds of a second, seconds, minutes, so a one hour looping uh, stopwatch is built into this. You can pause it and long press stops it and you're back to your time. And of course you got to cycle through everything just to get to the next thing after the stopwatch which is turning it off simply by pressing and holding. All right, to change bands, to change the twist your wrist to see the time, to change the, um, not bands, but uh, uh, faces, uh, to change the delay before it uh, times out when you activate it. All of that stuff happens in the H-Band app, which is where we're going to go now. I've reviewed this app extensively already for several other uh, devices. Uh, so look in the show notes. There'll be the link to the tethering app, H-Band 2, and review uh, links to the exact point in videos that talks about the app. And each time I go over this, I talk about different things. So if you really want to learn the app well, check some of these other reviews. For now, I'm just going to open it. And I'm already set up. And wow, I'm way down in here already. Let's get back to the very beginning. I was messing around with it there. It just updated to the current step count and last night's sleep time in that circle right there. That's today. And then I've got yesterday. I did a little bit yesterday. So all these things here show you the data for that particular day. I come back to today. There's my step count so far. Here we go. Last night's sleep chart. Here's heart rate so far. There's a little moment there. I took it off. 
took a shower and whatnot, put it back on. It didn't drop to zero, but it held at the same heart rate. Like there was, it just connected the dots until it got the next reading. Uh, blood pressure readings uh, come through. And here's where you can take live heart rate or blood pressure right there. Now, any of these you can drill down deeper into. Here's the actual step count at uh, each half hour increment, how many steps I took during that half hour. You can see when I was asleep or in the shower or whatnot. There's last night. Took 22 steps to go to the bathroom around 4 a.m. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. You guys know more about my life than I do, but neither of us know more than Google does. Um, so that gets into there. Here you go into the sleep analysis, and look, you've got all of this capability to zero in on where you were sleeping, at what levels. You have awake and uh, sleep, uh, light sleep and deep sleep. You do not have REM sleep on that. Um, that's a much more sophisticated thing to calculate, but you have your basic light, deep, and awake information on here and all the times that go with it. I was awake five times throughout the night, so you get an idea overall of your sleep quality. Heart rate, again, the actual measurements are here. The synopsis is up here. You have the different zones that you're in. Uh, it says I was running uh, at 9.30, and I may have been. Uh, this looks like a fast walk. This looks like a uh, simple walk, and that's total sedentary. I mean, quite a breakdown of information based on the heart rate that it's picking up from you. Okay, there's 80, I don't know, 68, but it said I was running. Mass, medium, these are the zones. Fun stuff to play with. And no, we don't have any scrolling information, but across the bottom, if you can see very tiny, it's the hours of the day for that information on heart rate. Then on bracketed blood pressure. These are the blood pressure readings that the watch is taking every 20 minutes. 8.20, 8.30, 8.40, every 10 minutes. Wow. Wow, I didn't realize that. I thought it was like once an hour. All right. They say there's some interesting stuff some people can discover about themselves, uh, or whether they suddenly have a burst of high blood pressure and don't realize it or whatnot, like right here at 5.50 a.m. Must have been an interesting dream I was in the middle of. Um, anyway, you're getting these numbers here. Take them with a grain of salt because we're still not sure about the accuracy of this instrument, but use it as a guide to support what you do know about your overall heart health, okay? And that's all in blood pressure. And again, like I said, you can take them here. When you get over here, you can actually uh, use the GPS in the phone. If you have the phone with you, hit start and do a run and get your uh, track on uh, a map. The band for 20 bucks, 16 if you buy it right now, does not have GPS in it, sorry. <laughs> Next year, maybe. Um, but you can go back bracelet movement over here and if you have any pull up some hysterical records of on your workout remember that one mode i showed you you can push and you can you can get your biometric information versus time that would show up here i haven't done any of that but that would be on the bracelet movement and you can actually use the phone and do it the same thing but more sophisticated data would come in here but you got to have your phone with you for that then finally in settings you can show what your uh, information is. I've just taken the basic default. Uh, if you log in and set up an account for all of that, it'll track this in the cloud. You can give yourself a nickname and all of these things are settable and you can save it. You can even put in a picture if you like to. This is the Q18. There's several different devices that tether to the H-Band 2. This is, uh, this is one of them. You can set up message notification pushes to the watch. Alarm settings are here. You can have it flag you when you've been sitting too long with a sedentary reminder and turn that on. You can set the heart rate alarm, which is really nice. Your upper limit now, not your upper and lower, but your upper limit. So if you're going to be working out, you don't want to go anaerobic on, on it, uh, you can save that and it will vibrate if you exceed your heart rate alarm. You twist the wrist to show the time. Here's where you pair your device. This, I'm going to come back to blood pressure private mode. 
Here's where you select the screen on time from as little as three seconds, I believe. Yeah, three, four, five is what it's set on typically. All the way up to 30, you confirm it, you save it, it sends it to the watch, and now when you activate it, it'll show for 30 seconds. If you just twist your wrist to look at it, it'll only be for a couple of seconds. But if you touch it, that's when this kicks in. Switch settings. Wear detection. Will it, uh, you know, actually work and, and start taking information if you have wear detection on? You notice it wasn't doing any of my heart rate or blood pressure or anything while I have it off. Heart rate automatic monitoring, blood pressure automatic. These are the ones we saw. You can turn them off if you don't need that or want to run your battery down. Find your phone, but you need to always be close to your phone, otherwise it's going to be going off all the time. There's the stopwatch function, which you can turn it off if you don't want it to even show up on the watch. And a disconnect reminder will let you know if you've been disconnected from the uh, tethering. Where was I? Okay, that was all the switch settings. Here's your brightness overall adjustment. You can actually do an automatic adjustment, so it will check the ambient light that's outside, and it'll set it so it'll dim uh, to a lower level if you're inside and it's still readable but brighten up if you're outside or you can turn that off and you can manually control there's the lowest setting and there's the maximum i tend to run it on maximum i get plenty of battery life and i like to be able to see it good and bright when i want to see it uh, but at night you know uh, it could be too bright so good time to tone it down taking a photo basic stuff you can use it as a trigger uh, you can have a countdown, uh, which is an interface display that will use a timer function separately and so forth after the countdown stops, blah, blah, blah. Haven't done much with that, but that's available too. You can reset the, uh, the password, set the main interface style, which is your watch faces. So let's parade through that, shall we? Here's style one. Look at that. Nice, pretty butterfly. No, it doesn't flap its wings. Not for 20 bucks, but it is a nice butterfly. Here's style two. Kind of a, I don't know, gothic uh, monster font. And you'll see the heart bump pumping up and down, and it'll give you your heart rate in really tiny red digit there. Not too meaningful for me. I like bright and bold. Here's an interesting one. I think that's the stock one it shows when it first comes out. Here's a nice script one in pretty colors. It's got a good variety of bands. Now we get into an analog one. Here's an interesting one. Okay, step count is on here as well as heart rate on that one. Another analog watch. Again, with a, the heart rate is in a white, which is easier to see. There's the one you saw me open with. That's the one I've selected to use regularly. And then here's another fun one right there. So I'm just going to leave it on that one. That's just your basic date and time without any extraneous data. And that was um, the main interface. The rest of this is just clearing your data and firmware update and disconnecting the watch from the, or the band from the phone. So you could repair it or repair it with something else. You can set your sport goal, your sleep goal, your units. Oh, metric? Really? I want imperial. Maybe that's why I'm seeing everything in kilometers. I don't know. Okay, change the theme. That's the theme on here, and there's only one style as far as I know. Kind of a green now. Uh, then about us and help. And a third-party connection with We Run. So it doesn't do Strava or Google Fit, but if you want to connect to We Run, you can do that. That's settings. That's your running. That's your overall dashboard. That's your information for the day. Yesterday, two days ago, I didn't have it. What more can I say? The uh, H-Band Plus tethering app, the amazing Q18 fitness health band with all the functions that come with it and available from Rundoing. Here's the basic spec sheet on it. I usually show this at the beginning. Nice to know that, huh? IP68 waterproof. For 20 bucks? <laughs> I can't get over the price. Sorry, everything that it can do, including real-time regular heart rate and blood pressure. Waterproof, too. Wow, wow. Rest of it's just your basic specs, but we're showing them just so you can see. This is nice. 1.4-inch screen. It is larger than those normal 0.96-inch ones, 
which is great. Um, so it's going to be easy to read. AliExpress on sale right now for just, uh, what, four more days, they said. Um, take advantage of it if you can while the price is low. Otherwise, if you miss that, check the show notes down below. And if I have a buying coupon to give you a discount off of that, apply that coupon. And even if there isn't one, that's a great price. And using the link we've got here to pick it up from Run Doing helps us out and helps us get more of these watches in. We'll show you the other ones coming up soon, along with a bunch of other products coming in from a variety of sources, including an interesting Swiss watch. Check it out soon, all right? We'll see you. Oh, one last thing. I didn't see it in the product list, and as I was editing this, I noticed on the box, it talks about this. Well, guess what? That's not unique to this particular band. It's part now of every single band or watch that tethers to the H Plus 2 app. We talked about it with the Q9. I want to show you one more time here in case you missed it. I go to settings. I go to my settings. They're default for male. But if I switch this to female and confirm it, it asks me if I'd rather set the uh, female cycle function, and I'm going to say yes. We can go in and record a particular menstruation with period length and cycle time and the date of the last period. Mm, let's call it March the 22nd, just for sake of doing it, and save that. Okay, that has now been recorded in here. We save all of these parameters, and it's updated for female in the H Plus app. Just another little goodie that comes with the Q18. Where do you see it? All right, all right, I didn't finish. We set it for female, right? But look, we got a cute little pink thing around the picture that you could put there. Now we tap on the picture a second time. Oh, uh, no, that would uh, let us take a picture of the picture. We don't want to do that. We want to tap on the little pink circle. Exactly there. Now we're there. Here's where we just recorded the information. But look, you have a section on preparing for pregnancy. What is the status? Let's say yes. Here's this. Here's this. Intelligent prediction. Again, now, folks, use this with a grain of salt for family planning. Um, can't tell you enough that this is an experimental fun toy. Uh, so that's that one. And then there's pregnancy, whether to set the status to pregnancy, expected time bean of whatever. Oh, let's see what it says. Well, that's just the date to, to set. Um, fill in the expected time bean of childbirth. We can calculate the expected time bean according to your last period. Intelligent prediction. Since the last period, that would be the date. And you all know what to do on that date, right? Okay. can only take you so far with this app. And then the last thing is mother. Uh, set it to mother. And wow, look at this. Okay, we've got the basic information of the child, time of birth, how long does your cycle last, intelligent prediction, gender of the child set to female. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. We can save all that, and I think it's going to give you a prediction on when the baby will be born if you know the date of conception. Way beyond my little interest area right now, but those of you inclined uh, might get a lot of juice out of the Q18. Okay, <laughs> bye!